Welcome to the second week of 40 Days to Personal Revolution. The theme of this week is vitality. Vitality is very simply an energy that comes from living a life of enlightened knowledge and action. When we do what we know to be right and true, we are revitalized and renewed right where we live. The focus of your meditation will be noticing and releasing the self-damaging tapes that run in your head and block your vitality. Let's meditate. The intention right now is for you to be comfortable in a seated position and also fully alive and aware right now. Use your body as a measure for your experience. Feel what you feel, hear what you hear, see what you see. Move and adjust yourself as you need, but move with purpose. And close your eyes if you haven't already done so. Presence yourself to being here. Feel the floor beneath you and notice yourself sitting with calm determination and clear intention of experiencing this moment. Notice the ebb and flow of your breath. Imagine yourself standing beside a beautiful, peaceful pond. Majestic trees surround the pond's edges. The air smells sweet and clean. There's a gentle breeze. As you walk around the edge of the pond, butterflies float effortlessly along. The sky is full of fluffy clouds and the air is a perfect temperature. You are moved by the beauty and serenity of the surroundings. You walk along a little path until you see an inviting bench sitting at the end of a short, wide dock. The sun sinks lower in the sky, filling the land with long, graceful shadows. Dragonflies touch the surface of the water, creating ripples, and you allow yourself to be filled with the peace and magic of this special place. Next to the bench is a small pile of pebbles. They are beautiful little stones. Each one is unique and special. Slowly, one by one, you pick up the stone, turn it over in your hand, notice the color and texture of the stone. As you feel the weight of the stone in your hand, imbue that stone with one of the self-damaging tapes that run in your head. Something that blocks you from your vitality. Something that you tell yourself that is not true. Infuse the weight and color and shape of this stone with that phrase and then chuck it in the water. Watch the ripples emanate outward and ever-expanding circles from the stone that you just tossed into the pond. Watch the ripples intersect and mingle in seemingly random patterns as the ripples expand outwards. And once the ripples have finally receded off into the distance and the surface of the pond becomes clear and smooth once again, pick up another stone from the stack. Examine it for its weight, its color, its texture. And infuse it with another phrase that you tell yourself to block yourself from your own vitality. Feel the weight of the rock in your hand, the temperature of the rock as you've held it and infused it with this message that no longer serves you. And once you have completely infused this rock with this next phrase, this next sentence, this next thought, free yourself from that thought by tossing the rock into the pond.
and watch the ripples expand. Watch the ripples as they come in contact with the water's edge. And then once again, the surface of the pond becomes clear and smooth. As you sit on the bench at the end of this dock, notice the feeling of the air across your skin. Notice the length of the shadows as the sun begins to set. And pick up another rock from the pile. Notice its shape, its distinct edges, the speckles and lines of color. Notice how it feels in your hand. And close the rock in your hand tightly. Infuse in this rock a phrase that you tell yourself that is not true, that is limiting, that blocks your vitality. And once you have made the rock warm with this thought, Cast it out into the pond. Watch as the rock sinks towards the bottom of the pond and creates ever increasing circles in the water's surface. And once the pond has become clear, pick up another rock. Turn it over in your hands. Hold it up to the sky. Notice if it changes colors as you hold it up to the colors of the setting sun. Clasp the rock in your hand. Make it warm. Infuse it with a phrase, a thought that does not serve you. A phrase that is self-damaging and blocks your vitality. And once the rock is warm with this thought, toss it into the pond with a graceful arc across the sky. Listen for the plop as it lands on the water surface and sinks to the bottom of the pond. And notice the ripples, the circles that are created as this rock breaks through the surface of the pond and sinks to the bottom. As the water surface has become smooth once again, you notice that there's one rock left at the bottom of the pile. And pick up this last rock, this small little rock. Look at its color, its shape, its texture. Grip it tightly between your thumb and first finger. Infuse it with a thought, a phrase that you tell yourself that is not true and blocks your vitality. Toss the rock into the pond. Watch the ripples intersect and mingle in random patterns. And as you watch the ripples, realize that these ripples are much like your thoughts. Everyone expanding, intersecting, connecting, and growing. You realize that if you throw in pebbles of peace into your life, that you get more peace. If you think judgmental thoughts, you create judgment and fear. As you sit silently on this bench, you decide to throw pebbles of love into your life. And as you do, you effortlessly let go of your old thoughts of judgment and fear, your old self-damaging tapes that run in your head and block your vitality. You have tossed them into the bottom of this beautiful pond, which has taken them for the bed of the pond. They are now in a place where they no longer serve you. They are serving a new purpose as the bottom of this pond.
you notice that your chest feels lighter. Your body is more relaxed and at ease. Your breath is softer. Your heart is lighter. because you have mindfully taken part in the act of infusing those stones with your self-damaging tapes and casting the things that block your vitality to the bottom of this beautiful pond. And gently bring your hands to Anjali Mudra at your heart center. Together we will take one full Om. Bring your hands to your forehead center. Take a deep breath in. Namaste.